Thank you for joining us at XM.com for this Forex preview video. We'll be having a look at the final non-farm payrolls report for 2019 out on Friday. I'm Christina Marujas and joining me today is investment analyst Christina Barthanidou. So Christina, we had a very strong employment report in November thanks to the return of the General Motors workers as well as an increase in hiring and healthcare services. Now, do you think we can get another upbeat report this week? Uh, that's right, Christina. November was the second strongest month for the U.S. labor market in 2019 as regards uh, employment growth. It's not that the previous data releases were uh, seriously concerning, but the sharp dips during the year combined with fears of a uh, more aggressive uh, trade war with China raised speculation that the jobs market could soon lose its ground. So uh, November's impressive increase in employment growth of uh, 266,000 was more than welcomed by the markets. Uh, now in December, we uh, non-farm non payrolls are expected to slow back below uh, 200,000 as the employment component of the ISM survey suggested last Friday. Uh, still, we don't expect any fall below 100,000, which is required to keep the uh, working age population growing. And if the unemployment rate remains at a decade lows and wage growth at decade highs, then that would still be a positive release or at least not a discouraging one for the U.S. economy. Now, let's turn to the Fed a little bit because recently it announced that it will keep interest rates as they are in 2020, given the fact that they cut rates three times in 2019. Could this week's NFP data maybe change the Fed's stance? Uh, well, not really. I mean, the U.S. Uh, labor market is still relatively robust uh, compared to the European and the Japanese one. And the Fed is still expecting that uh, conditions could further improve on the back of the phase one trade deal and the Brexit progress. So another rate cut at the moment is not uh, in need, but neither a rate hike is uh, on the cards given the shrinking uh, manufacturing sector uh, that justifies uh, the Fed's decision to adopt a wait and see approach and allow the markets to absorb the current lower interest rates. So overall, the general idea is that the Fed uh, will likely uh, will likely remain patient and wait uh, fresh evidence in the new year to see how things are developing under uh, the current accommodative monetary policy and a less risky trade environment, which means that it may uh, probably it may uh, shrunk shrunk of the uh, December's release this week and uh, uh, and shift full attention on the first quarter readings. I see. And finally, before I let you go, let's have a look at the dollar. Do you think this data could help it um, extend maybe this week's uh, recovery? Uh, well, probably not, since the first quarter uh, data will be more important to capture the effects of a less riskier trade environment and the accommodative monetary policy uh, on the manufacturing sector and generally on the U.S. economy. I think that uh, the U.S. dollar may not show any uh, important reaction on the December uh, NFP report. Uh, however, since surprises happen, we would like to see a rally above 109.50 against the Japanese yen to resume confidence on the dollar, uh, while uh, a drop below 108.40 could be uh, discouraging for buying interest in the market. Christina, thank you for joining me today. And thank you for watching this Forex preview here at XM.com.